Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. Today's video is a request where I was asked to look at the Battlestar Artemis. Now I plopped it right next to my Gravity Cannon 3000 just to give you a rough idea of its size. Now wherever the hell the free camera has gone, I have no idea. So I plopped it next to my Gravity Cannon 3000 to give you a rough idea of its size and it is... A fair amount bigger. In fact, it's roughly 10,000 blocks bigger than my gravity cannon. The Battlestar Artemis is a large block ship of destruction, featuring guns literally littered everywhere all over the scene. Gatling guns, interior turrets, missile launchers, you name it, it's got it. And it also features a nice lot of detail on it, using things such as wheels and the around curved blocks. So yes, let's start with the in fact, let me come to the front. So that is what it looks like head on. And then as I come over the top, we go past some interior turrets. We got some interior posts. There are the curved blocks. We got some Gatling turrets, rocket turrets. There's a wheel on there with a nice display with a little logo on top. And then we have this rather nice thing going along the center, which is basically a blast door edge and some wheels. Gives a very nice look to it. Coming on the side here, we've got some more blast door edges, which are basically like the supports that are just holding on to the side where you land your vehicles in. But I'll go in there in just a second. Continuing along the back here, we've got even more guns and then this thing at the back. Now underneath here are where all the thrusters and reactors are, so you have to be very careful not to get hit here. But do not worry, it does have an auto repair system built into it. So yes, there are a lot of turrets on this. Coming around the back there, we've got some fake thrusters, which are basically the displays with a blue screen. So if I was to zoom straight in, you'll be able to see that they're sitting there. So it's a blue LCD screen, which are all going around there, giving it the effect of having thrusters. If you wanted to, you could use modular thrusters, which do give off the same type of light. But yes, it still works nonetheless for a vanilla build. Continue on underneath, and guess what? We're going to be seeing more guns. Let me just switch the time of day so we can actually see properly underneath here. There we go. So we've got guns sitting on the center of some large wheels. We've got interior turrets going around the outside. Underneath the main body, we've got even more missile turrets. Like I said, there's a lot of turrets in here. And then we've got these lovely things, which are basically satellite dishes, which are just spinning around on rotors constantly. Back round to the very end of the ship, or the very front of the ship even, we have a few more Gatling turrets. Coming around the side, we don't feature many turrets. It's mainly just coloured blocks and some decorations. But we do have these interior turrets lining up the side of where you would dock your ships into. This thing, I imagine if an enemy comes close, is just going to go bananas with the amount of bullets in there. Yes, around the back we also have some more rounded steel blocks. Give it a nice little knobbly effect. But that is basically it for the outside. It looks rather fantastic to me. Compared to what my ships look like, yes, it is rather good. So in here is where you would land a small ship. You basically just dock yourself here and then you would run all the way along over to here where you're greeted with a hangar door. These hangar doors can be controlled via the inside. If you were to close both the hangar doors up, you're not going to be able to get back in, so do remember to make sure you have one of them open, or you could add a button. There might be an another way to get into this ship, but I haven't found it. In the main little body of this ship, we have a bunch of connectors here for you to access, and maybe even connect a small vehicle to if you wanted to. I mean, you could get a very tiny ship to come through here, if you're very careful. As we come further back here, we've got a bunch of conveyors, and large refineries, we've got a gravity generator in here so we can walk around all night. We have warheads! Warheads are hidden around on this ship and it is glorious. We've got some large cargo containers, we even have some interior turrets in here in case a sneaky so-and-so decides to hide near your reactors. And these are the reactors, we've got hydrogen tanks as well, we've got hydrogen thrusters which have been done in a way that does require you to have thruster damage turned off in the world settings, but it does look nice doesn't it? I mean, for a actual decorative purposes, it might be something to use in the future because it does look rather nice. Going further back here, we have got the repair doors. Now, this 
is how it repairs itself if you take damage. So there's a button on the actual cockpit where you can turn on the welders and it will just continuously repair itself. Going further back we've got the jump drives, we've got even more turrets. I don't think you need this many turrets on your ship. And then some more warheads. And that is basically it for the whole rear of the ship. There are some more thrusters, we've got some conveyors, even more warheads. And yes, I'm a little lost in here now, so I've got to try and work work my way out of this maze. Oh, there's some gyroscopes. I found gyroscopes, everyone. <laughs> How do I get out? Oh, that's a lot of gyroscopes down there. How do I get out? And let's continue on with the little looky. Opening up this door, you're greeted with just, well, gyroscopes galore in there. So we're just going to close that up. Going up the ladder, let's actually go up properly this time. We didn't have a ladder which will take us all the way around to where I just showed off. And then we come through here. In here is like through quarters where if I was to come through the door we then have a bunk bed. Opening up this door we then have the same. And then coming through here we then have even more bunk beds but they're on a different side of the room. And then coming over here we have once again some more bunk beds for you to sleep in. Now these two doors over here are some of my favourite on the ship because they just literally contain warheads. But let's close that up because we will be blowing up the ship later on and I don't need to set up anything. The person who created this did a lovely job of making it easy to blow this up. In these doors we've got some cryopods to very quickly recharge your suits. So recharge yourself, hop out again, jolly good. And then coming through here we have the control deck where you have some lovely LCD displays with some icons on. We've got that other little display there showing you the ship. Lots of little seat here, there's nothing actually on these seats so you would have to set it up yourself. So perhaps you could set up a turret for you to manually control with other people if you wanted to. But this is the whole bread and butter so I'm just going to hop in here and we've got a few controls. Now the sound blocks I'm not too sure what they actually do. Pressing them doesn't do anything. The number 2 block is a programmable block. Once again I don't know what it does, there was no information about it. All it seemed to do was lag my game a lot. Number three is for the jump drive, and number four is of course to activate the jump drive. Number five is the auto welders if you want to take damage, and number six is if you wanted to self-destruct the ship. So third person mode, we're just going to fly around a bit. Turning on the spot is really good actually, is very much like a small ship. Accelerating is slow, stopping is actually really nice. I do like it when people build their ships with a lot of stopping power. I think that's the right word. I know stopping power is kind of like bullet strength and all that in video games, but you get what I mean. Yeah, it stops relatively fast, accelerates. It's okay. Turning, it's good. Left and right, I can't tell because I'm in space. And there's no reference marks anywhere. So the last thing to do would be to press number six and blow this up. Oh, actually, before I blow this up, in fact, I need to spawn in some enemies. Now I'm just going to come over to here, I would like to uh, give everything to the pirates. There you go space pirates. And there goes the battleship Artemis. It just ripped it to shreds and pieces. Oh my. And there's the ice. <laughs> oh, it actually kept the ice in it. Lovely jovely. But yes, it's a very powerful ship, probably a little bit too overkill with the amount of turrets on it. But now it is time to blow it up, I feel. So while this warhead is counting down before it explodes, I will just say, if you have created something that you're rather fond of, it doesn't matter if it's not as fancy as some of the stuff you see on the workshop and you would like me to showcase it, leave a link to it in the comments section below and I'll try and take a look at it. If your comment disappears, that's just YouTube auto-moderating it because it tends to delete any comment with linked. But don't worry, I will be able to see it in my little YouTube dashboard. So there goes everything. I'm still in my seat, I think. Yep, I am still in control. Wow. It's really distorted everything. Oh my. Wow, look at that. The gyroscopes are escaping! That's actually kind of amazing to look at. 
So blowing it up with the self-destruct sequence basically blows up the whole core of the ship. But look at all those gyroscopes. I knew there was a lot on this ship, but wow. That's actually really... I might take a screenshot back, because that's quite pretty. So this is the Battlestar Artemis. It'll be in the description below if you wish to download it and try it yourself. If you want me to take a look at one of your designs, doesn't matter how big or small it is, do leave a link in the comment section below and I'll take a look at it. Once again, if your comment disappears, it's not gone forever. It's just been auto-moderated and I'll have to verify it by ticking it in the dashboard of the YouTube Creator panel. So thank you all for watching. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.